Ciao, friends. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I make the perfect steak. Hey, Derek, will you go make a steak, please? The cowboy steak, the bone on ribeye, this guy right here. So we're going to make that today and I'm going to show you exactly how we do it in our household. So this particular one ends up being, I just want to show you really quick how much it weighs. I had the scale going, but then of course it turned Oh off. no. So this guy is Eek. Oh no. two pounds, 11 and a half ounces. So what is that? About two and three quarter pounds. Yeah, that, it's that. a nice so big have steak. Your, have your butcher cut it for you at about that size. It's a nice big we're done steak. With that. And all that we really do with it in our house is we rub it with a little bit of olive oil, which we're going to do right now. By the way, you can obviously do these on the grill if you want, but I kind of like the control of doing it in the house. Not a lot of people do things inside anymore with steaks, which is kind of odd to me because if you go to a fancy steak restaurant, you take your bride out for a beautiful dinner or you want to go out to a anniversary dinner, whatever, for whatever reason you take your bride out to a Roos Chris or something fabulous like that, they cook all of their steaks inside. They're not grilled, so I'm not sure why the art of cooking inside uh, seems to have gone away a little bit. Okay, so we do that. I just put some olive oil on there and kind of rub it around a little bit. And then a little bit of... Get salt. A little bit of just black pepper. That's my favorite. To taste, obviously. I love black pepper. And we're going to do it on both sides. I always use way over. too much black pepper, but I love it. And then some salt. Not too much salt. I, I don't like the way all these celebrity chefs anymore tell you to use so much salt. It makes no sense to me. Salt doesn't bring out the flavor of beef, beef or too much salt doesn't. A little bit a little of salt bit certainly does, does but, but otherwise you're just tasting salt. And I'm when just you're using a, a half that. a cup, that's yeah, a little bit that's too, just much. Really too much. All of those celebrity chefs will tell you that. Oh. Don't do it. Just do it to taste. I will tell you right there, that is... Ooh! Who doesn't want to eat that? Yeah. These are old standby pan that I love. I bought this pan many years ago when... Beth and the kids and all of us still lived in Minnesota, but I worked in San Francisco. So I was flying back and forth all the time and had an yep. apartment out there. So I bought this pan for that reason. And I keep it since then, uh, just because it reminds me, if nothing else, to never take a job from <laughs> that's in a different city than my family again. So here's what we're gonna do. Then I just take go. it and this tomahawk just becomes its handle. Oh, that's it in there. so pretty. Don't grab Ooh. the side. Yeah, don't grab the pan. That's a really good rule, Dad. Don't grab the pan. You're not the one who gets burnt. It probably wasn't so great for me to grab the darn hot skillet. Okay, so we're going to put some more on here. Love pepper. And all we're really doing right now is we're just searing it on both sides. Because it will go into the oven. Because you don't want to finish a steak like this on top of the stove oh, because no. the outside is going to get way too charred. No, you got to do it in the oven so on a happy all place. All we're going to do is <laughs> sear it up a little bit on top of the oven and then we're going to put it into the oven, excuse me, on top of the stove and then we're going to put it into the oven to let him finish up. So we're going to let that sizzle. We're getting very close to where I'm going to flip him over. It's really pretty, huh? Yeah, so That's a beautiful nice steak. Yeah. You call that a cowboy? But does a cowboy every, steak, does a bone-in ribeye, a tomahawk, you can call it many different things. Okay, so across the country that would have maybe different words? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what part of the country is called it what. I just know that wherever you are, we just it can be called tomahawk, bone-in ribeye, cowboy steak, um... I probably, I, I'm probably thinking that there are other ways that you can call it as well. If you're in a part of the country 
that calls it something different than those three things, let us know down below. Because we love to read about food and crocheting and all that stuff. So we'd love to hear what you might call it in your part of the country. We're just about ready to flip it. We're going to give it just a few more Ooh, seconds here. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And you have a handle, which is awesome. That's the fun part. You get a handle. I do. I always and who flip gets, it with the handle. And who gets the bone? I get to chew on the bone at the end. And oh. then the dog. Oh. Oh, I see. My dog gets the bone. Right, then we're just going to turn him. <gasps> that. Oh, my gosh. That looks so pretty. Now, the same amount of time that we just did, probably, what, three, four minutes. We're going to let him sit on this side. And uh, let him get those nice drill marks. Ooh, that's pretty. If you hadn't noticed, sometimes it's hard to see these things. Uh, what did I mention? It's about two and three quarters pounds yeah. uh, with the steak in. But, yep. but the way it's cut, the way our butcher friends did it for us, it's it's a good two inches thick. That's a nice... Sometimes I like to... That's thick. Sometimes I like to have them cook or cut it for us at uh, about two and a half inches thick, two and three quarters inches thick when all of us are... These are cut a little bit thinner right now and... and, and Honestly, uh, with our other two kids at home, I probably would have had them uh, make me a little bit, cut me a little bit smaller one. And that's not thinner, but just a, from the smaller end uh, of the primal cut, just because there aren't that many of us here to eat all this. This is a giant steak. Yeah, there probably was a time in my life that I could have eaten the entire thing when I was in college, but those days are long gone. None of us eat that much, but it's pretty nice when one steak like this, depending on where you buy it, that one steak can feed your entire family. That's a pretty good deal, which uh, which makes, again, for a pretty darn nice high-end dinner for and not a terrible so price. And it's so pretty. That is a really pretty steak. So we're and then what are we going to do with that? I'm going to pull back her a little bit, hon. So I'm letting it go just a little bit longer. Because the, the bone part's not cooked yet. No, so that part gonna is going to cook inside of the oven. Oh, okay. Well, what I want to do here in just a moment, we're going to pull it up. Well, I'll show you. And you'll understand because right now we have we have drill marks going this direction. Which is cool. I want to cross hatch them a little bit too. Oh, so we're gonna that's turn fun. It. Instead of going like this, we're going to go like this. Oh, the presentation is awesome on that. That's fantastic. I would love so to see that. hopefully this is not too hard for me to grab right now. It's going to be really hot. No, it's okay. Oh, no, it's going to be super hot. And we're going to go like that. Ooh. More beautiful grill marks. Oh, see, now that's super. Oh, that's handsome. What a handsome steak. Look at that. Yum. 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 Absolutely yum. So we got to get back to uh, whether or not the dog gets this instead of me at some point. He gets my bone. Usually. My dog, he gets the bone. What we do is I'll chew on the bone a little bit when it's done yeah. and, uh, and then our collie gets it. Yeah. Soda gets the soda pop tart. Handsome man. My handsome collie man gets to chew on the bone. Takes him two days to take down a bone like that because he's not good at it at all. No. I'm going to come out a little bit so you can see that he still has his big bone. Look at that big bone. We're going to go that flip. Look at that. Oh. Oh my. It looks like a waffle. It does look like a waffle. Can you rinse my hands again really fast with some soap? No, it looks like a waffle. We don't need this to be a COVID steak. So you might have noticed, um, depending on where Bethany did uh, uh, the filming, that we do have the oven on already. And right now, <gasps> we've got the oven set going at 350. It's actually set at 375 with the convection going. If you have the convection, do 375. Yeah. And it'll take you right down yeah. to where you're supposed to be. So it's just a couple more minutes here, and we're going to take this entire thing and just put it into the oven for a little while. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. We're going to open this up. And 
going in. We're going in. To the metal rack of the oven. Oh, we're going in. Boom. Oh, it's gone. Here's what we've got. So my hope was that we went to about 125 to 130. Let's see what we've got. Oh. So 125 to 130. And then when it sits here, this is actually perfect because you can see it. Because you go to 125 to 130, so you're kind of in the, um, the, see, keeps going off, but that's okay. You're kind of in the rare to rare plus. A lot of places will call it, Roost Chris will call it rare plus, where you're a little bit lower than medium rare, but you're higher than rare. So I think we're right there. And you want to let it set for depending on what you've got going on you can let it set for 10 to 15 minutes and it's actually going to get warmer inside the steak as you go in this case we took it out I think we took it out pretty pretty much at, at 128 and it still is increasing and we're going to go with that so I'm going to take this out I'm going to cover back up loosely tent it again with this foil and we're going to wait another probably about seven minutes and then we're going to cut into it so here we go it's got to be perfect oh look at those little, little oh look at those little marks can yeah. i come in yeah oh those are great little marks let's try it i'm cutting it i'm looking i'm gonna go right down the middle so you all can see it i'm looking Ooh. all right what do we got it's hard to see oh now i can see it way better what have we got? Ooh, it's nice. 